Thank you, Steve. Two sets of players just shaking hands as the Liverpool players in the red tracksuit tops cross the halfway line, walk down the line of the Tottenham players. I said to you that I was listening to uh, Chris Waddle alongside Vicky Sparks and St James's Park last week. This time last week must have been one of the lowest points of not just Harry Kane's career, but I think anyone uh, in a Tottenham shirt that afternoon absolutely walloped 6-1. Uh, at Newcastle. Decent response in the second half at home against Manchester United on Thursday. I think the first 10-15 minutes here, Chris, today, you know, in this atmosphere inside this stadium, given the, the recent form that Liverpool have shown, is going to be very telling about this Tottenham team again. Ali, it's not about being pretty the first 10-15 minutes. It's about legwork. And it's about closing people down and, and raising your tempo. They didn't do it against Man United. They went two down. And at half-time, they came out and they did it in the second half. So they can't do it. So they, to me, you know, it's a mental thing. They've got to come out and think, listen, it may be pretty, you may, may do what you want on the ball, go and get the ball back. Go and make it, make it difficult for Liverpool. Just in terms of the history of this game, Tottenham have only won one of their last 20 Premier League games against Liverpool. They've only won one of their last 28 league games at Anfield. That stretches over a period of 30 years, but I did look in the notes and saw that just before that, in 1986, Chris Waddle was part of a Tottenham team that did come here and win 1-0. And they're rare wins, Chris, aren't they? They were. Well, it was always hard. It was always hard to come here and win. As I said before, it's it's an intimidating place. Um, always seem to play 100 mile an hour. Um, don't let yourself. But I've got to remember that we had a good day in 87. And, um, we had a good day. We, we, we deserved it. I think we caught Ian Rush offside about 400 times. Um, that was when offside was offside. But uh, now we played well that day. We had a good season. Talking Ian Rush, actually. I've, I've not been to Anfield for a while. The sun shines out now just before kick-off here and the Tottenham team are in a huddle. There is an exceptional mural that's been painted uh, on the end of one of the houses of Ian Rush. It's two pictures of him. One celebrating a goal as we always saw in both arms aloft in the red Liverpool kit and then next to that a giant sort of black and white picture of him just staring dead at you uh, from the end of the house it is, it is absolutely fantastic Tottenham not going to face him this afternoon but they do have to face a certain Mo Salah who makes a 300th appearance for Liverpool 62nd player in the club's history to do that and he scored a fair few goals for them as well. He starts for Liverpool this afternoon. I'll remind you the team news in just a second. Four, two o'clock games have been done and dusted. Five live BBC Sounds and the BBC World Service in the sunshine on a mild afternoon on Merseyside. This is Liverpool against Tottenham. Early Tottenham attack down the left. Ball is floated into the Liverpool penalty area. And right in the opening seconds of this game, Hoybier is down and just possibly had his toes trodden on there as Tottenham built a move down the left Harvey Elliott comes across to apologise and hauls Hoybierg yeah. to his feet yeah it was just a slight uh, little bit late nothing in it Harry Kane tried to release Klonetsky who's going to come across on his right hand side I don't know we're going to be in a minute in the game but Tottenham look as if they're, look, they want to press yep so Liverpool defending the goal away to our right, high up in the main stand here, that's the cop away to our right, slight slip from Virgil van Dijk as he plays the ball to Andrew Robertson on the left hand side and eventually it goes out for a throw into Liverpool just inside their own half as Steve Crossman was saying, both of these two teams sitting outside the top four. Uh, after today's results, Van Dijk looking for the diagonal over the top. Good leap from Perisic to head the ball away. Son chest the ball down. Canate quickly on to him. Liverpool trying to get away down the right. Harvey Elliott making a first appearance in six Premier League games. Uh, has conceded a free kick. Tottenham have that inside their own half. So Tottenham uh, start 11 points behind Newcastle. Nine points behind Manchester United. They played a game more than Manchester United. Uh, Liverpool have played the same number of games as Manchester United. They are 10 points behind them Tottenham have given the ball to Liverpool here and Gakpo trying to turn on the edge of the box gets a second bite at the cherry Skip's gone down he was just caught there by Luis Diaz who is starting for Liverpool for the first time since October and Tottenham get a free kick Chris Mario there doesn't he tries to roll it Skip it's sloppy pass and uh, well, it's, there's hit a free kick by Son who's decided no I'm not going to chase that <laughs> but the, They've started great Tottenham, you can't say. No, they're, look, they're squeezing the mate, the goalie kick it. Look, oh, Ooh, Son chasing Allison down on the edge of his six yard box. Allison got the pass away, finds Fabinho in his bright orange boots, and Liverpool gliding forward as Van Dyke finds Robertson. Robertson sprints forward 30 yards. Kuliszewski sticks with him, not enough on the pass from Robertson. Kuliszewski gets a toe to that, and it goes out for a throw in 
to Liverpool on the left. So Liverpool 12 points behind Newcastle. They do have a game in hand on Eddie Howe's team. Liverpool nil, Tottenham nil. Two and a half minutes gone in the first half. Alexander Arnold gives Salah his first touch of the afternoon. Curling cross onto the chest of Gakpo. Gakpo flicks it in field uh, towards Luis Diaz. Gakpo wide to the right finds Salah. Salah plays back to Alexander Arnold. Curling ball in, and there's the finish from Curtis Jones. Lovely first time finish on the half volley. It's his first goal of the season. And Tottenham, just like last Sunday, they played less than three minutes and they find themselves a goal behind. Liverpool 1, Tottenham 0. Well, it's a simple, simple goal for Liverpool, isn't it? Salah controls it, rolls it back to Alexander Arnold. He doesn't think twice, puts it in the far post. Where is Porro? Where is Mario? There's one man, Curtis Jones, in the six-yard box at the far post, and nobody's within two or three yards of him. That is the easiest finish he'll get in his football career. One nil. Liverpool off to a flyer. How will Tottenham respond? Is it going to be last Sunday all over again? So Curtis Jones in the third minute of this game. Definitely onside, making the run to the far post. Sweet left-footed finish. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Champions League Cup semi-final in the Rugby Union. La Rochelle against Exeter. Uh, there's been a try. Here's Claire Thomas. Chiefs have scored for the first time since Sam Simmons' seventh minute opener. Josh Sepper Scott borrowed over to finish off a move started by a scampering Stuart Hogg. And the gap narrowed to 26 with a quarter remaining. The reigning champions in cruise control, though, 40 points to 14. Winners of that one will face Lent in the final four minutes gone Anfield's buzzing Liverpool leading Tottenham by a goal to nil Robertson plays back to Van Dijk this just outside the Liverpool penalty area there's Trent Alexander-Arnold in central midfield the problem they get Tottenham is they're trying to press I'm not saying that you know but they're playing with three up Tottenham and when they go to press they're always Liverpool always seem to have a spear man in the midfield who steps in and the midfield don't come up with the three strikers so is it really worth pressing Robertson's diagonal to the right, Harvey Elliott cushions the pass, maybe into the path of Salah, Gakpo stretches, gets a touch on the ball, important interception from Eric Dyer. it's hoisted straight up in the air, the ball bounces about 10 yards outside the Tottenham area, Alexander-Arnold heads it to his left, Cabinho to Gakpo, now Elliott, and then Salah looks for the runner, Gakpo, can he keep this in, yes he can, there's the cutback, oh what a fabulous finish on the right foot from Luis Diaz, on the volley at close range, less than five minutes played, Liverpool 2, Tottenham 0, a horrible sinking deja vu feeling for Tottenham and their fans. Let's give Liverpool credit, Salah's wonderful ball to the byline which gets pulled back in again, ball watching. No, space never scores a goal, a man scores a goal, a footballer scores a goal. Too many players in white shirts are watching the ball, people are just pulling away from them and they're two simple goals. I mean, how easy was that for Liverpool? Luis Diaz thoroughly enjoying his moment, the Colombian on his way back from a knee injury recently. First start for him since October. We'll have another look at the goal on the monitor again. Gakpo played in down the right-hand side to the byline. Luis Diaz making the run to the near post and Liverpool lead Tottenham by two goals to nil. This really is going to be a test of Tottenham's metal. 5-0 after 21 minutes last weekend, 2-0 down at half-time at home against Manchester United on Thursday they came back from that one Liverpool all over them and the Liverpool fans at the moment Ryan Mason has got some uh, some thinking to do Porro down the right to Harry Kane decided to leave that because he thought he was in an offside position he was, he was correct, the flag goes up and Liverpool will, will get the free kick they're, they're shell-shocked again Chris can't believe it, I've got to say you know, you've got to look at the defence um, the back five, I think midfield yeah they compete, front three are very dangerous we know that but the, 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 the back five, as you want to call it, at three or five, they're just miles away from it. They, they don't mark, they're ball-watching, lazy. It's so easy for Liverpool. Chris had some strong words to say about Tottenham's performance last Sunday here on BBC Radio 5 Live and BBC Sounds, and I've got a feeling we might be hearing the same again. Let's see how Tottenham go, though. Seven minutes in and Liverpool comfortably leading by two goals to nil in this uh, this chase for a top four place chasing Newcastle and Manchester United currently sitting third and fourth Alexander Arnold tries to get Salah away down the right again Perisic with him knocks the ball into Salah 
and Tottenham will have a goal kick. Seven minutes gone, Liverpool 2, Tottenham nil. If you have just tuned in, Curtis Jones got the first in the second minute of the game and Luis Diaz with the second. Both close range finishes on the volley to put Liverpool 2-0 uh, in front and the camera at the moment closing in on the uh, faces of angry and bewildered Tottenham fans standing in the lower tier of that Anfield Road stand away to our left. You can hear what the home fans make of it all at the moment as well. Fraser Forster all in yellow, clears long with his right foot, headed forward by Canate. Tottenham in the white shirts, blue shorts and white socks. Long one for Son to chase, he won't catch that and Alisson all in black for Liverpool catches it and then slings it out with all his might ball skidding off the pitch to Robertson first time pass from Van Dijk into Curtis Jones Jones has skipped behind him little step over skip sticking to his task Jones plays it back to Allison here on the edge of the box takes a second touch Harry Kane closes in and then fires the diagonal pass out to Salah who just leaps into the air and lobs it back to Harvey Elliott Elliott looked like he was fouled Liverpool wants an advantage Paul Tierney have blown the whistle though. Chris Waddle. Well, I'm just watching the game at Liverpool. Very confident. I heard they've had some good results recently. And you can see that. They're playing their lovely two-touch football. A lot of options, a lot of movement. Uh, Tottenham can't get near them. If you look at Tottenham from where we're sitting, we're very high up here. How many players are actually marked in games with Liverpool players? None. It's just let them walk around, look, five, ten yards off them. This level of football, you can't do that. It's been such a fast start, I've just realised not reminded you of the, uh, the two starting lineups this afternoon. Let's rattle through those for you. Alisson in goal for Liverpool. Alexander Arnold, Canate, Van Dijk and Robertson. Liverpool's back four, so Canate in for Matip after the 2 1 win against West Ham. Harvey Elliott has started ahead of Jordan Henderson, who's on the bench. Curtis Jones and Fabinho make up the midfield three. Luis Diaz on the score sheet, he's on one wing, Salah on the other, and Cody Gakpo through the middle with Diogo Jota. Uh, amongst the substitutes along with Darwin Nunez as well here is Diaz trying to control the ball inside the Tottenham half throwing goes Tottenham's way uh, Hugo Lloris still out with the hip injury so Fraser Forster in goal three centre-backs Romero, Dyer, and Ben Davis in for Clement Longley for Tottenham Porro and Perisic the wing-backs Hoybjerg and Skip in central midfield uh, and Kulashevsky starting in place of Richarlison so he's on the right Son on the left and Harry Kane through the middle ten minutes in and Liverpool leading Tottenham by two goals to nil Robertson finds Curtis Jones on the halfway line back to Robertson again Robertson just strokes the ball infield no one no one anywhere near Fabinho there Chris Listen, they've got three in midfield and uh, Tottenham look at Tottenham look, they've got five along the back three and four in minute midfield but nobody's marking anybody look look get the ball give it red shirt red shirt Tottenham have won it inside their own half. Kulishevsky tries a trick. Robertson speeds into the challenge. Applauded by the Liverpool fans. And Tottenham get a throw on the right. If you aren't aware of the uh, Premier League scorelines from the 2 o'clock kickoffs this afternoon. Bournemouth beat Leeds by four goals to one. Bournemouth now on 39 points. Ten points clear uh, of Leicester. Leicester play Everton tomorrow. We'll have updates on that game. Uh, into the Monday night club, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. You can see the England manager, Gareth Southgate, uh, is... Uh, Amongst the uh, attendants here at Anfield this afternoon, Manchester City top of the Premier League with their 2-1 win away to Fulham. They've got a point ahead of Arsenal, still have a game in hand on them as well. Manchester United beat Aston Villa by a goal to nil. And Newcastle 3-1 winners over Southampton. Liverpool attacking again down the left. Jones back to Alexander-Arnold, who's in the, uh, the green boots for Liverpool. Play to Robertson. Little 1-2 with Diaz. Back it comes to Van Dijk. Alexander Arnold's there again. It's very easy for Liverpool on the ball inside the Tottenham half at the moment. And Robertson again plays back to Virgil van Dijk. Van Dijk finds Alexander Arnold just inside his own half. Enough on the pass to find Elliot. Elliot moves in field to the right. Blimey, that was easy to find. Gakpo! Gakpo's tackle might fall for Salah. Perisic is there, clears out for a throw into Liverpool. I, I just can't believe what I'm watching. I, you know, I, was at, I was at Newcastle last week and I couldn't believe what I was seeing there. And it, 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 already you can see this being a massive score again. So Liverpool have it, having taken the throw. They're leading by two goals to nil. Van Dijk in the centre circle, playing across to Robertson. Robertson forward to Diaz, Diaz back to Fabinho, it's just Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool at the moment, 12 minutes gone, leading by two goals to nil, more familiar position for Alexander-Arnold, he's on the right 
finds Fabinho back to Van Dijk. Liverpool in total control of the game and the football at the moment. Here's Canate. Canate bringing it forward wide to Robertson. Expectancy builds inside the stands at Anfield. Liverpool are going to be patient here though. Curtis Jones down the left to Robertson. Robertson's half tackled. Here's Jones again. Jones plays back to Van Dijk. It's been another try in the Rugby Union Champions Cup semi-final. Claire Thomas. Well, we've just seen the nail in the Exeter coffin as Larochelle and a sucker punch through live wire scrum half to where a Kerr Barlow. Wally Woodburn had added a pearl to Chiefs tally, but the reigning champions are headed for a showdown with Leinster. Seven to play. They lead 47 points to 21. Oliver Skip flying in on Alexander Arnold. There was a foul. Advantage is played. Here's Diaz. Diaz across to Fabinho. Fabinho finds Elliott. Little figure of Harvey Elliott looking for Alexander Arnold through to Gakpo, straight from Diaz, penalty! It was the challenge on Gakpo on the edge of the box, Christian Romero's gone flying in, Liverpool already leading by two goals to nil, and they could be about to score a third, Chris Waddle. Yeah, it's a pen, Romero, listen, it's it's just keep balling up to uh, Liverpool, I, I don't think they've had an easier game this season so far, uh, it's a pen for me, definitely from where we're sitting, we're a long way away, we're high up, but to me it's a pen, I think VAR will prove it will be. Um, and this could be 3-0. Harry Kane's having a chat with uh, Ryan Mason. They've got to change the shape. They've got to go to a four. They've got to pack the midfield. They just kind of get near Liverpool. Kind of get near them. So Mo Salah is waiting. Video assistant referee is David Coote. He and his team will be having a look. We're waiting to see the replay on a monitor, but it looks very clear from up here. Romero with the lunge, caught Gakpo. Mo Salah has missed his two Premier League penalties this season. Neither of them has found the target. One over the bar against Bournemouth and one wide in the 2-2 against Arsenal here. But he is the man to take it. Hands on hips. Big Fraser Forster, all six foot seven of him, filling that Tottenham goal away to the left. 15 minutes played and Salah finds the back of the net. And Tottenham at sixes and sevens again. Liverpool lead them by three goals to nil. And it already looks like they've won the game. Yeah, he a very confident pen. One of went in the roof of the net, middle of the goal. Oscar goes to his right. I thought he got over the bar at first, when he first hit it. I thought he's put enough, too much on it again. And uh, it just went under the bar. 3 nil, game over. Huge side relief for Mo Salah. As Chris Waddle says, yes, he went for the, uh, the similar penalty to the Bournemouth one. High in the middle, just grazes underneath the crossbar into the roof of the net. Mo Salah with his 28th goal of the season, 17th in the Premier League and a 9th in 13 games against Tottenham. This could be any number oh, again, Chris. Liverpool have been good, very good. They're very confident. And, but uh, by the way, it's so easy. Tottenham kind of get near them. They kind of put a glove on them. They've got to change the system. They've got to go back, put extra body in midfield. They just can't get near them. They can't get up the field. Look, every time they play a ball forward, it's a little red shirt, picks it up. Porro goes in to try and win a header, goes tumbling over the back of Curtis Jones as he does so, lands heavily, wins a free kick, pulls in, he stops the game. Oliver Skip wanted to take the free kick quickly, I can already hear the calls tonight on 6.06, which is going to follow us this evening. Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton want to hear from you, 08085 909 693. Tottenham fans, I know you'll want to have your say again. Plenty of this game still to play. 6-1 at Newcastle last Sunday. 5-0 down in 21 minutes. And here, 15 minutes on the clock. And already 3-0 down uh, against Liverpool. Jones, Diaz and Salah with the goal. Son has won a throw. High up on the left-hand side for Tottenham. And he's going to leave that to Ivan Perisic. Just about level with the penalty spot. No real urgency about Tottenham here at the moment. Perisic has warped towards the ball to take the throw. Skip runs towards him. Gakpo's got that run covered, so Perisic holds on. He's going to go for a longer one into the penalty area. Easy header away for Jones. Skip jumps and heads the ball straight up in the air. Liverpool might come on the counter here. Jones has lost it in midfield. And here's Romero who conceded that penalty using his right foot to find Ben Davis. Davis treads on the ball on the halfway line, nearly had it taken off his toes. Skip to his left, finds Davis. Davis lofted ball down the left, well beyond Perisic, who was never going to catch that. And behind it goes for a goal kick. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 0. Fair score, Liverpool have been very good. Um, they're not to be at the very best today so far, uh, it's been easy for them. So, um, yeah, look. Tottenham are caught between you know, the system obviously whatever but they, they're trying to press but they can't get near Liverpool Robertson plays up to the halfway line 
chested down by Diaz and here's Alexander Arnold streaking forward across the halfway line perfect pass into the feet of Gakpo Gakpo into the area trying to work it onto the right foot shots deflected might fall for Salah Salah can't quite stretch to control it corner for Liverpool I think Tottenham wondering whether Salah might have been in the offside position every single time they come forward they look like they're going to yeah, score every time Tottenham lose the ball which is quite often uh, they just break on them very very quickly quality passing by Liverpool they're playing a very good tempo they really aren't controlling this match Liverpool 18 minutes gone in the first half Chris Waddle with us here uh, at Anfield we're putting Chris as a former Tottenham man through the ringer again he was with us at St James's Park last week shaking his head sitting next to me here and Liverpool have a corner so Tottenham with some more defending to do Trent alexander honorable will take it holds his left arm in the air away swinger with the right boot Canate was up didn't make much contact on the ball Salah beaten to it by Kuliszewski looks for the 1-2 with Skip Salah though good defensive work saw what was on there chased all the way back gets a foot on the ball and plays back to Alisson that's what you want to see isn't it you play as that's what I'm saying when you say effort you know that should be that should be normal you shouldn't be asking players to be running around and you know you look at that more Salah there he's just ran 60-70 yards to, to get the ball back and you don't see it in the way to to Tottenham Mo Salah's goal by the way from the penalty spot is 184th for Liverpool so that takes him one ahead of Robbie Fowler just two behind Steven Gerrard as he continues to move up that list Liverpool leading 3-0 5 live BBC Sounds if you're on the move is the uh, the place to find us to listen to the live commentary find all your podcasts as well we're with you across the globe on the BBC World Service as well this afternoon and Tottenham have a throw on the right inside their own half and their young manager Ryan Mason with the uh, weight of the world on his shoulders black hooded top for him this afternoon to match the black trousers arms crossed and I bet he can't believe what he's seen again in another Tottenham shambolic away performance particularly at the back here's Ben Davis Davis better pass finds Hoybieg Son on the move Hoybieg with the outside of his right foot passes well over hit and all the way through to Alisson Canate may have had the run covered how, anyway. Ali, how, how Liverpool get the ball back Harvey oh, Elliott there did what 30 yards 40 yards shuttle runs trying to get that ball back and, and, it, and it, when they're putting pressure on Tottenham it's making them give the ball back to Liverpool very very easily very very cheaply but when Liverpool have the ball they can basically do what they want Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's enjoying the freedom of the park. Looks for a curling diagonal pass out towards Salah on the right. Ben Davis having intercepted plays back to Forster. Forster out to the left. Perisic then releases Son. Son sprints hard to keep that ball in play on the left. Little step over. Whips the cross into the near post. Allison has it covered easily. Pats it down into the floor and picks it up on the bounce. 20 minutes gone in the first half. Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to nil. Liverpool win will put them on 56 points, two points ahead of Tottenham, seven points behind Manchester United having played a game more, uh, and nine points behind Newcastle. I think it's a big ask uh, to, to, to catch them top four. It is a big ask. I mean, I think Liverpool will be the team. If, there's any, if anybody slips up, it'll be Liverpool who are capable of getting, uh, getting close to them. But the way Newcastle's playing at the minute, and Man United, you just kind of see it. Fifth spot and sixth spot will give you Europa League football next season. Seventh spot will give you Europa Conference League. 20 minutes gone first half here. Liverpool leading 3-0. Let's get the latest on La Rochelle uh, against uh, the Exeter Chiefs in the Champions Cup. Claire Thomas. Well, it's too little too late, but the Chiefs are determined to leave Bordeaux with their heads held high and have their fourth through replacement hooker Jack Yandel. They trail 47 points to 28, and you can hear the final few minutes play out live with commentary on Sports Extra. Salah, step over from Gagpo. Here's Diaz looking for Salah again. At the stretch, left foot curler just wide. For a second, I thought I was going to net in the top corner if you're one of these Liverpool front three this afternoon Chris Waddle you're going to be licking your lips here oh. uh, any, anybody in the Liverpool shirt I mean Van Day just what sprayed a 40, 40 yard ball out to Mo Salah no pressure on it they just can't get near them Tottenham now, where, this is the game plan to try and soak them in catch them and hit them on the break I, I don't see it you know when you come here you've got to be toe to toe with them for the first half hour so Liverpool leading 3-0 goal kick for Tottenham Fraser Forster hooks that to the left Alexander Arnold wins the header Eric Dyer volleys it forward Curtis Jones intercepts lofted ball over the top looking for Salah Forster off his line to the edge of his box he's able to claim that for Tottenham in terms of the 
games against their uh, what should we say their Champions League rivals uh, this season oh Tottenham are giving it away again Dyer with the loose pass then stretches to get a touch on the through ball from Luis Diaz and it's uh, very fortunately for him ends up back in the arms of Fraser Forster well whoever gets his job at Tottenham which is in a, a big club definitely are um, it needs uh, a big overhaul it needs a lot of players out and new players in here's Hoybier inside the Tottenham half Tottenham on the move forward with the ball at their feet now Perisic back to Hoybier forward to Harry Kane Kane trying to inspire seen quite a few people slip over playing balls so far this afternoon Kane's another one pass is intercepted Robertson looking for the run of Gakpo Dyer has it covered and then he's given the ball away again and Robertson sees Salah in acres of space on the right Salah's going to love this running at Ben Davis into the penalty area half tackled Harry Kane's back there to try and help out on the edge of the box how long did Harry Kane take over that Salah just came sneaking in from behind him ran round him and took the ball off brilliant Mo Salah there great energy lost the ball cheaply and he worked to get it back and Harry Kane didn't get his show man on but Harry Kane was looking for somebody to hit and there's nobody up front if Harry Kane jobs back who do you hit? yeah it's woeful from Tottenham again you have to say midway through this first half again Liverpool on the ball inside the Tottenham half no pressure on them back it comes to Van Dijk Sun spreads across the Anfield pitch and Trent Alexander-Arnold more familiar position on the right back to Allison, Allison outside his penalty area. He's got time on the ball as well. Son eventually closes in. Allison clears with his right foot. This one's beyond Salah, chested down by Ben Davis and Perisic. Uh, plays back to Fraser Forster, full time in the rugby. Claire Thomas. We've seen this one before, but we'll happily give it another watch. Leinster will face La Rochelle in the Champions Cup final in Dublin just 12 months after we saw that match, and the French side won their very first title. Exeter opened the scoring, but the reigning champions then ran riot in Bordeaux and suffocated Chiefs just as they did Saracens in the quarter final. Full time, La Rochelle 47, Exeter 28. Thank you, Claire. Coming up to 25 minutes played at Anfield, so it was after 21 minutes last Sunday that Tottenham were 5 0 down. 25 minutes in here and they are 3 0 down at the moment against uh, Liverpool. But you'd have to say, Chris, equally poor performances. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's to say that Liverpool haven't took the chance. Newcastle took them all, didn't they? Liverpool have created a few more, but they haven't took them. So it could easier be in a similar scoreline. Yeah. Robertson very nearly found Luis Diaz with another pass forward, just beyond him, though, into the arms of Forster. Forster bowls it out to Oliver Skip and at, at times I mean I think the Liverpool fans enjoying themselves but it's it's not got that sort of edge and that tension and that buzz to it inside the stadium because it's it's too easy uh, for Liverpool at the moment and the Tottenham fans away to our left have understandably lost heart Porro plays back to Romero Romero into the feet of Skip Liverpool pressing and chasing and harrying here Romero under pressure from Jones plays into his own penalty area Dyer this time safe pass forward to Hoybier Hoybier back to Romero Here's Hoybierg again, chipped into the feet of Harry Kane. Kane chased by Canate. Canate didn't win the ball, and Ben Davis is able to release Perisic on the left hand side. Perisic 10 yards inside the Liverpool half, plays across the halfway line to Hoybierg. Hoybierg to Kuliszewski, lays it back to Romero. Liverpool have plenty behind the ball now as Romero chips one away to the left the offside his flag is up as Perisic chests it down free kick for Liverpool and that was the best bit of play Tottenham's done haven't it they must have had what 10-12 passes there good movement uh, or again what is it it's 3-0 uh, down it's uh, how do you come back from that yeah, exactly after what happened last week as well I was just mentioning against their record in terms of the sort of the top seven ta teams in the table this season Tottenham have lost eight out of ten games against them so far this season that doesn't include today four points from a possible 30 the only win at home against Manchester City and then the 2-2 draw against Manchester United uh, on Thursday otherwise they've lost uh, all the other eight games here's Robertson Robertson just inside the Tottenham half creeping forward to Luis Diaz Diaz draws two men in flicks it back to Robertson now to Virgil van Dijk, van Dijk strolling forward, plays to Canate, Canate across to Salah, Salah draws Perisic towards him, uses Harvey Elliott as a wall to get the ball back and then just calmly strokes the ball to Canate, Canate to van Dijk, van Dijk points where he wants a runner, 
rolls it to his left to Robertson, Robertson doesn't see an option forward, plays back to Allison. Allison dummies an initial clearance with his right foot and then slides a pass out to Canate in the right back position, forward to Salah. Salah deep inside his own half, Perisic has followed him all the way there and he's leaning over him here, Salah not interested, he's able to turn away from him, holds him off, plays back to Allison outside the box on the right here and Allison slightly hurried into the clearance, clears with his right foot and that'll be a throw in for Tottenham. Chris Waddle. A little bit better by pressing by Tottenham but uh, Liverpool had there what a good 10, 12, 14 passes and uh, back to the goalkeeper ends up kicking it out but... Uh, I just, you're just looking in the tempo Tottenham player they, they don't get it's it's sort of a, they arrive a second sec, two seconds late you know they go to close down it's too late they've had good control they move the ball next player arrives good control it's gone Tottenham do not get close enough to, to the opposition they're playing against Fraser Forster 10 yards outside his penalty area in a central position high ball away to the left just over the head of Alexander Arnold falls at the feet of Perisic Perisic brings it back here and finds Kane, 40 yards from the Liverpool goal. Tottenham have to go back to the halfway line. Hoydieg fires the pass at Ben Davis. Davis across to Dyer. Dyer to his right finds Porro. Porro back to Dyer. Dyer, little lofted ball over the top. Flag stays down at the moment. Harry Kane angles tight. Cross goal. Looking for Son. Can't find Son. Wouldn't have counted anyway. The flag goes up in the end and Chris Waddle knew it was coming. Yeah, Harry Kane went just a little bit too early. Uh, I don't know why they don't put the flag up. It was nearly someone who got injured there, so I don't know why he didn't put it up straight away. Harry Kane, I'm surprised he didn't shoot yeah, either. That's you know, what I thought, Chris. He's in the six-yard box. Uh, you know, the way he can finish, why is he trying to square it? Yep. Scored a goal against Liverpool in the 2 1 defeat at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium earlier in the season from exactly that position. Now, Porro's tried one from range here. That's a shot from inside his own half. Allison's got it covered. He was worried for a second, chest the ball down very calmly, and then finds Andy Robertson. Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to nil. Coming up to half an hour played on Five Lives Premier League Sunday. 6 06 follows us this evening. Lines will be open at half-time. The number to dial if you want your say, 08085 909 693. Eric Dyer decides to launch himself into a slide tackle. Did make the challenge, but Alexander-Arnold now has whipped a pass out to the right. and Salah's onto it. Perisic makes the tackle for Tottenham this time, and he goes out for a throw into Liverpool down by the corner well, flag on the right. If Alexander-Arnold sees something, he'll try it. It doesn't matter if it gets cut out, he'll try it. And what he's does well, Alexander-Arnold, today is, and what Tottenham are kind of come to terms with at the minute, is they get no number midfield, because Alexander-Arnold's not playing right back when they get the ball. He goes and walks into the centre circle, and he becomes an extra player. Throw in for Liverpool, which Alexander Arnold will take from wide on the right, just about level with the penalty spot. Gakpo leaves it. Elliot is able to run onto it. Elliot plays it back to Alexander Arnold, who takes a touch. He looks for Salah. Salah commits the foul there on Ben Davis. Davis just got to the ball ahead of Salah. Salah's saying to referee Paul Tini, I got the ball. I'm not sure that he did. And Tottenham get themselves the free kick. So um, they've steadied the ship somewhat in. Well, in, in terms of the fact they've not conceded a goal in the last 15 minutes but goodness me the last two away performances from Tottenham have been absolutely dire 6-1 last weekend at Newcastle and 3-0 down here at Anfield this afternoon Fraser Forster then with the free kick drives it forward with his right foot Canate's got it covered heads it to Alexander-Arnold he controls it and finds Curtis Jones Jones is knocked off balance and wins a free kick and Hoybieg stops him taking it quickly and says you're actually taking that from the wrong spot mate and then picks the ball up and just tries to slow everything down which is exactly what Tottenham need Alexander-Arnold walking pace just gently kicks the free kick to Canate via Allison, it finds Van Dyke. Kane closes in so Kane with strong words to say this week about what's been going on at Tottenham what happened at St James's Park last Sunday how they've lost some of the values of the Pochettino era they're pressing here Son's looking for Kane in the middle of the pitch Fabinho's got it covered for Liverpool and clears but well, that's uh, a lot better you know, uh, Perisic comes right up the field wins the ball alright they don't use it when he wins it back they don't use it but that's the sort of tempo you've got to play at Tottenham are giving it away inside their own half. Could be danger for them again. Luis Diaz looks up, sees Alexander-Arnold steaming forward up to the edge of the area. Curling ball in, not enough on it as Dyer heads it away. Fabinho takes it on the bounce, lofts it to Andy Robertson. Curling cross into the far post. Elliott is up well, heads it wide and behind it goes for a goal kick. Ben Davis was the man challenging. It remains Liverpool 3, Tottenham 0. 
Yeah, Liverpool, good ball in by Robertson and Harvey, really, it's probably one of the smallest players on the field. Should not be winning that against Ben Davis. So, goal kick for Tottenham. Fraser Forster not interested in using either centre-back. He's got Romero to his right and Dyer to his left. Waves them up the field. So, this one's going to go long. Penny for Harry Kane's thoughts in particular here. Standing just beyond the Liverpool back line as the goal kick is launched towards him. Van Dijk felt he got a shove in the back from Kane there. The ball has travelled all the way through to Alisson. Oh, Alisson almost didn't put it up on the pass to Robertson. Robertson just nicked it off the toe of Kuliszewski and suddenly it's turned into a counter-attack for Liverpool down the left. Robertson gives it to Luis Diaz. Darts in field, drops the shoulder, still going. Skip makes a challenge on the corner of the box. Diaz is down and hurt, rolling around in some pain on the edge of the penalty area. Tottenham continue to play though. Porro. Curtis Jones comes flying in on him and then Kuliszewski decides to knock the ball out of play to allow Luis Diaz to receive some treatment. Well, I, I think it was a fair challenge. I think he's obviously got caught after by Skip slightly, but um, it looked a good challenge to me. He comes inside. A little trick, yes, actually. Skip plays the ball, but he's, he's actually his studs go on the top of his foot and uh, a little bottom of his shin. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a bad challenge when you look at it. Yeah, that... that is one of those, Chris, that looks much worse, doesn't it? In in, in the slow-motion yeah. replay. He's just looking that he plays the ball first. Yeah. But the foot goes through and it, it, it catches Luis Diaz above the boot and on the shin. I can see why he's in pain. Jurgen Klopp didn't seem best pleased with the challenge either. He's got his Liverpool players around him at the moment. He's finished his conversation with the uh, fourth official, John Brooks. Must be absolutely delighted with the way his team is playing. Heading for four consecutive Premier League wins here. As we said before the game, problem has not been at home this season. There have been a few draws here, but they've only lost the one game. Applause for Luis Diaz as he's back on his feet, but they've been scoring goals for fun at Anfield again this season. Only Manchester City and Arsenal have scored more goals at home. Only defeat against Leeds in October, but eight defeats away from home in the Premier League season. That has been the problem. Plenty of goals conceded on their travels, and that may well be the reason that they don't make the top four this season. Play back underway. Cody Gakpo with the throw-in just gives it back to Tottenham. 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Steve Crossman back with us at half-time. Match of the day two for all the football tonight. BBC One at half past ten with Mark Chapman and the team as Forster chips the ball out of his penalty area to Porro, Porro's under pressure from Diaz Diaz wins it, starts a dribble Kuliszewski tries to foul him little pass through the legs of Skip from Diaz Tottenham eventually clear it Curtis Jones immediately in to win it back Robertson forward to Gakpo Gakpo looking very settled now in this role, as in the sort of Firmino yeah, role yeah, yeah, I think that's his best position yeah, the found his position um, Liverpool's work rate off the ball is fantastic getting the ball back on and you know, this is what you're looking at. If you want to be, you know, Tottenham just strolling around, trying to mark zonal look, you know, they're well organised, they're all in the right positions, but they don't get near any red shirts. And when the ball comes forward, they still don't get near them. They all just mark space. Liverpool in possession again. Alexander-Arnold now in sort of left-hand side of midfield. Back to Robertson, forward to Fabinho. Here's Alexander-Arnold again, now in the left-back position. Looks up. Curls the pass beyond Harry Kane into the feet of Van Dijk. Alexander Arnold gives him a shout again. So many touches of the ball he's getting in this sort of quarterback position. Then he runs into space beyond Kane. Just over the halfway line. Picks his pass to Luis Diaz. Back to Andy Robertson. Harvey Elliott starts to make a run. But Robertson and Alexander Arnold just exchange a quick one-two. Van Dijk again. Now it opens up on the right-hand side. Tottenham are chasing shadows here. Canate towards Elliott. Elliott. Buzzes it forward to Salah. Salah to Fabinho in central midfield. Fabinho swings it out to Luis Diaz. Controls that ball on the bounce. Support on the outside from Robertson. Cross into the far post. Didn't quite get it right. Behind it goes for the goal kick. It's so easy for Liverpool, as I say. Yeah, we're sitting very high up here. And Tottenham, when they lose the ball, they, they seem to have a nice shape about them. But you've got to go and get the ball back. It's probably staying 10 yards off Imani marking. They can, Liverpool can do it. One. Alexander Arnold is just getting coming in off that right back position, going into the centre circle, and nobody has a clue what to do with them. Goal kick for Tottenham. That's the uh, the voice of Chris Waddle. You can hear at Anfield. Nine minutes remaining in the first half as Fraser Forster again gives it a clatter with his right boot. Canate jumps with Son. Paul Tierney points in the direction of a Tottenham Hotspur throw. 
And again, a little bit of silence falls around Anfield. Jurgen Klopp standing tall on the edge of the pitch, hands in pockets. Baseball cap firmly perched on the top of his head as the throwing comes from Perisic. Van Dijk read it from a mile off, wins the header. Gakpo tries to bring it forward. Ben Davis nods it away. Salah might get onto this just inside the Tottenham half on the right. He's under pressure. Has the, uh, the skill and the ability to get out of trouble. Not only that, and win a free kick for Liverpool as well with two men on him. Yeah, he looks very sharp today, Mo Salah, as the Liverpool team do. Um, they're all full of energy, getting the ball back and enjoying it when they get it. This is another bad day at the office for Tottenham. Yeah, you can say that again, Chris, as Liverpool have already taken the free kick. Salah's just lurking out on the right-hand side, and Liverpool have worked it to the left for the time being. Jones, nice bit of pace on the pass, but a zip to Diaz. Fabinho, back to Jones, wide on the left. Back it comes to Robertson, just inside the Tottenham half. Across to Van Dijk, quickly forward to Alexander-Arnold. Central position just inside the Tottenham half. He suddenly makes a burst forward. It's with Elliott now. Tottenham sends an opportunity to close him down, and he's chased back into his own half, and Alisson plays it across to Robertson, Robertson loose touch, gives Kane a chance to win it off him, Liverpool thought there was a handball, Kane finds Son inside the penalty area, right footed shot, oh Van Dijk brilliantly blocks it on the goal line and Liverpool managed to clear it, only as far as Ben Davis towards Kane, Fabinho in with the tackle, Fabinho then plays it to Harvey Elliott, Kane in with another challenge, advantage played, Alexander Arnold drives the clearance downfield, and it's in the arms of Fraser Forster. Oh, it was the first time we saw Tottenham actually press with a purpose and they got it back and it falls to Son and he's got a score hasn't he really anything with a bit of hate on it it goes in the net it's, he's rolled along the floor give Van Dijk credit he's ran back to the lane and he's spotted the danger and he's cleared it that's the first we saw of Tottenham actually pressing well yeah gave Van Dijk enough of a chance just enough of a chance to get his body in the way and block it Good ball forward from Skip here to find Perisic on the left-hand side. Van Dijk slips. Perisic has beaten him. Crossing. Kane on the volley. Through the legs of Alisson. Tottenham back in the game. Six minutes before half-time. Harry Kane smashes it in with his right foot. And there's finally something for those Tottenham fans to cheer. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1. Well, this is the first, the last, what, two, three minutes. Tottenham actually put a bit of pressure on Liverpool. They've asked questions. Alexander Arnold's not in that right back position. And they've capitalised on it. It's a great ball in by Perisic. And a simple finish for Harry Kane at his level. Well, are they back in the game? Let's see. Two goal cushion for Liverpool. They were 3 0 up. It's now 3 1. So Mo Salah with his 28th goal of the season here. Harry Kane's chasing him hard. That's his 27th and his 25th uh, in the Premier League. And his 9th Premier League goal against Liverpool. In terms of Premier League football, only Andy Cole has more. He scored 11. Uh, against Liverpool in his time in the Premier League but ruthless finishing from Harry Kane continues to do it doesn't he even when Tottenham are playing poorly even when they're getting beaten he will end up on the score sheet well that's what he does he's uh, a very intelligent footballer uh, it was a great great ball by Skip I think a release Perisic great ball in and Harry Kane basically it's on his foot go and finish it and he does but um, well see how Tottenham respond mm. coming to half time now it's too late but um, Maybe we'll see his second half performance that he did it uh, against Man United. Five minutes remaining in this first half. Harry Kane has given Tottenham a glimmer. Liverpool three, Tottenham one. Just one clean sheet in the last eight games uh, for Liverpool. Conceded again this afternoon. Gakpo's dropped deep onto the halfway line. Plays a couple of one-twos with Robertson. Oh, Robertson's lost it. Kuliszewski could be in here. Van Dijk chasing back. Kuliszewski on the left foot. Alisson makes the save. Rebound might fall. Not to Son, but to Canate who clears it away. And Tottenham actually, the Van Dijk clearance, the Canate clearance and the Kane goal. Tottenham have almost scored three in the space of five minutes here. Well, again, he's got a score. I thought he would have rolled it to Harry Kane. as He's bearing down a goal. All of two red shirts. Two players go towards him. I thought he would have squared it to Harry Kane. He didn't. It was very unfortunate, by the way. He did well to get the shot off. Blocked in a way. But... Uh, Bit of panic here by Liverpool it's at the back. A, it's Liverpool giving them the encouragement, isn't it, Chris? Losing it, yeah, losing the ball. Them in. Just before half time as well. Jurgen Klopp will be thick. You know, you don't need to play risky passes. So 3-1. And Tottenham chances coming thick and fast now. Corner for them. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Maybe we will have a game on our hands after the break. Pedro Porro, right-footed delivery, headed away by Canate. Son underneath it. Didn't get much on the header there. Van Dijk clears on the half volley. Tries to release Salah. Salah 
chests it down Son has chased him back to the halfway line Salah looking for the run of Luis Diaz Diaz gets there just ahead of Perisic Skips followed him challenge from Skip knocks the ball I think into the shins of Diaz does well for Tottenham there that'll be a throw in for Liverpool well they just seem to have a bit of confidence now but unfortunately it's come up to half time um, where have they been in the last 40 minutes crazy isn't it 21 minutes game was gone against Newcastle last weekend 15 minutes here they conceded in the third minute to Curtis Jones fifth minute to Luis Diaz simple simple goals they conceded as well Romero with a late lunge then conceded the penalty and Salah scored on the 15th minute and then all of a sudden it's a flurry of chances for Tottenham and they're back in this game but here come Liverpool again certainly wouldn't bet against them scoring more skip in wins the ball off Luis Diaz another important tackle from the Tottenham midfielder Quick feet from Hojbjerg in midfield. Dances out of trouble. Plays to Porro on the right. Kulishevsky back to Hojbjerg. Five yards inside his own half. Hojbjerg looking for an option ahead of him. Doesn't see one. Plays back to Eric Dyer. A couple of minutes plus added time. Remaining at the end of this first half here on Five Live BBC Sounds and the World Service. Football Daily is going to be a good listen by the BBC Sounds app. Our daily football podcast for you after all the football today and the post-match reaction some of which you heard after the uh, two o'clock kickoffs this afternoon Manchester City going top of the Premier League table long ball floated here towards Son Son brings it down Liverpool defenders chasing Kulishevsky making a move Son with the curler oh he's hit the post fabulous strike wouldn't have counted offside flag goes up I don't get this rule about the offside to me if he's offside he's offside I know they're waiting in case they get it wrong but it's every time you know everybody gets excited there it's a great effort by Son great run just unfortunately he went a bit too early what a great effort his left foot inside the, it's the post and comes away Jürgen Klopp is saying exactly what you're saying Chris just put the flag to up. the assistant referee I know but they're doing what they're talking and you can, hear, you can hear the Liverpool fans around I mean partly frustrated with their team but I think partly a lot of football fans have, have a frustration with the way that that is operating we've seen it twice in the first half here both times where I think we felt pretty clearly we could see the offside from up here assistant referee knew it was offside but I guess just in I case it plays I, out if, ends up if, in the back of the if net he, if he thinks it's a, it's yeah. a we do we saw yeah. it yeah. so why just stick up if he's got it wrong yeah. that's but, the problem the frightened to get something wrong I know wrong. that's right that's right Chris he lets it go just in case it ends up in the back of the net and he's got it wrong they did look clear those ones Elliot little chip ball down to Salah on the right Salah is tackled throw in for Liverpool they lead Tottenham by three goals to one Are they going to go looking for another just before half time? What Ryan Mason will say to the Tottenham team. I mean, a horrendous start again for them today. So easy to score against, they look like. Throw in for Liverpool. Salah's left it for Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold looks left and right and then just throws it straight at Gakpo. Gakpo's allowed to play it back to him. Here's Fabinho, Alexander Arnold outside of his right boot, back to the halfway line it comes. Two minutes of added time to be played at the end of this first half. Van Dijk forward to Fabinho. Fabinho turns in midfield, rolls a pass out to the right to Gakpo, who's over on the right wing at the moment. Luis Diaz in, his, in a more central attacking position. Fabinho and Alexander Arnold just play a little one-two so Liverpool I think quite content to keep it at 3-1 at the moment unless an opportunity very easily presents itself they've actually come back to Alisson here and Alisson is just going to go long looks for the run of Curtis Jones bumps shoulders with Porro here Curtis Jones continues to chase Romero's there feeds a little ball to Porro Porro's nudged off it by Luis Diaz throw in for Liverpool thrown to Fabinho who finds Jones back to Fabinho just over a minute of added time to be played more reaction to come to those uh, two o'clock kickoffs in the Premier League this afternoon Manchester City 2-1 winners at Fulham Manchester United beating Aston Villa by a goal to nil another win for Newcastle 3-1 winners against Southampton Callum Wilson scoring twice in that one huge win for Bournemouth in the relegation battle as well real trouble for Leeds Bournemouth beating Leeds by four goals to one and Leeds just one point clear of the bottom three Leicester and Everton play tomorrow here's Elliot. Elliot back to Canate. 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Liverpool back in control of the football. Van Dijk strokes it forward with his left foot. It's turned into a brilliant ball. Robertson with a high lofted cross of the far post. Salah's interested. Chases it. Perisic back just in time to get a touch on it. Keeps it in down by the byline, I think. 
flicks it away, Elliott is there, plays to Alexander-Arnold, Alexander-Arnold with a little trick, doesn't quite beat Hoybjerg, finds Fabinho now though, here's Salah, 10 seconds remaining in the first half, Salah on the dribble, Perisic makes the tackle, will there be time for the corner, yes there will, Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1. Yeah, they just come off the pace again, Tottenham, Porro's having a terrible time at right back, he's everything, he's decision making, he's not, he's ball watching, he's been caught out three or four, maybe it's more, four or five times and... Uh, um, Ryan Mason's got to change it. Uh, he's got to get more energy in this team second half. So corner for Liverpool, just beyond our minimum allotted added time at the end of the first half. Half-time whistle will blow shortly. Robertson's corner comes in. Far post, Van Dijk gets ahead of it. It's blocked. Virgil van Dijk's appealing for a handball. But VAR not even going to get to look at that because that's the half-time whistle, I'm sure, that's blown there. Liverpool complaining that they possibly should have had another penalty. They did get one in this first half. That put them 3-0 in front after 15 minutes. Harry Kane on the volley. Chris Waddle has got Tottenham back in it. And actually, Liverpool gifted them another couple of chances as well. So it's not over. No, it's not over. Tottenham have got players who can put the ball in the net. You know that. But uh, you've got to say for 40 minutes, Tottenham were, again, very poor performance. Turned up um, lack of enthusiasm. Basics. Work hard. Get the ball back. Make it difficult for the opponents. Go and play. They haven't done anything until we saw 40 minutes when, yes, they had a couple of chances and Harry Kane finally puts one in. But Liverpool have just dominated this first half and they've got to change it. They need energy. There's no legs in the team. Steve, we said before the game how important the first 15 minutes was going to be, particularly after what happened last week. After 15 minutes, Tottenham were... We're 3-0 down at half-time, it's Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1. Yeah, Liverpool players have just come racing back onto the field with real energy to thunderous applause, leading by three goals to one. Harry Kane getting Tottenham back in the game with his right foot volley. Tottenham players were out a couple of minutes uh, before that, one of those days where you'd absolutely love to have been a fly on the wall in the Tottenham dressing room to hear what Ryan Mason and Harry Kane, Tottenham's captain today, had to say. We're back underway, Liverpool all in red, playing towards the cop in this second half from left to right, Tottenham in the white shirts, blue shorts and white socks. And as I say, Liverpool comfortably leading by three goals to one, but just showed sort of enough um, lack of concentration for five, ten minutes or so towards the end of the first half gifting Tottenham some chances to give them some encouragement. Here's Mo Salah in his bright orange boots, playing the ball back to Ibrahima Kanate. Uh, Kanate across to Van Dijk. Van Dijk inside his own half, walking pace across to uh, Andy Robertson. Neither manager's made a change in personnel at half-time. Allison, black goalkeeping outfit, which he sets off with the white gloves. Diagonal ball towards Salah. Salah won't catch that. Throw in uh, for Tottenham so Liverpool Allison in goal Alexander Arnold Canate Van Dijk and Robertson Andrew Robertson making his 250th start uh, for Liverpool today Curtis Jones score of the first goal alongside Fabinho and Harvey Elliott in midfield Elliott in for Henderson today Salah and Diaz Luis Diaz uh, either side of Cody Gakpo Christian Romero who's uh, slightly reckless lunge on Gakpo Gave Liverpool their third goal from the penalty spot. Fraser Forster in goal, Lloris still out injured. Romero, Dyer, Davis, the back three for Tottenham today. Porro and Perisic, the wing-backs. Hoybjerg and Skip in central midfield. Kuliszewski, Son and Harry Kane through the middle. Elliot jumps, looked like he might have blocked the clearance with his arm. Perisic complains as he clears because the ball's gone out for a throw-in to Liverpool. Um, it's a slightly obvious question, Chris. What, what did Tottenham need to do? <laughs> they need to ask <laughs> questions. Not. At the minute, Liverpool are strolling this game. They uh, Liverpool's not taking any risk. The Jürgen Klopp must have said, look, we're 3-1 up. Don't do anything silly. We don't need to. Keep the ball. Uh, Tottenham's got their shape. Gone back to basically playing uh, with Conte. Gone deep. Um, main of five. Trying to get the ball. Hit them on the break. Ball play to the right by Liverpool for Curtis Jones. Stretches to keep it in play. Perisic tackles him. It spins off Perisic's boot and goes out for a throw into Liverpool on the right. Cody Gakpo just picking himself to his feet. He knocked the ball past Hoybjerg and then ran straight into Hoybjerg who to protect himself sort of turned his shoulder. I think it knocked the wind out of Gakpo for a second there. So he's picked himself up, stretched himself off and he seems to be okay. Welcome again to our listeners on the BBC World Service this afternoon. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1, Alexander-Arnold into the feet of Elliot. Elliot looking for a quick one-two with Jones. Perisic in with the tackle. Son 
back to Perisic, skip under pressure just outside his own box, finds Kane, Kane's chased by Fabinho, Fabinho sticks with him but Kane plays the ball to the right to Porro, Kane involved again, back to Romero and Eric Dyer on the edge of his box, closed down by Gakpo, very nearly gave it away there, here it is with Romero, slightly off balance, spoons the ball up in the air with his left foot, Kane's fouled there by Fabinho as he tried to control it, free kick for Tottenham. Yeah, Fabinho just brings here Kane down, but you see the difference in the two teams when when Tottenham get the ball, the red shirts are all over them, they're pressing all over the place. Quick free kick from Tottenham, taken by Kane, Allison came out of his penalty area, then backpedalled, and is able to pick the ball up and just bowl it out underarm to Virgil van Dijk. Heard from Robbie Savage at half-time, lines open for 6.06, plenty to talk about tonight. 08 085 909 693 Robbie alongside Chris Sutton taking the calls through until 8 o'clock and Chris uh, as always part of the Monday Night Club uh, alongside Mike uh, Mike Chapman who's Mike Chapman Mark Chapman Micah Richards uh, and Rory Smith tomorrow night from 7 o'clock on BBC Radio 5 Live updates of Leicester Everton into the show we've also got full commentary of Arsenal against Wolfsburg in the second leg of the Women's Champions League semi-final uh, that will kick off at 5 40 it's not even Mike Chapman tomorrow night on the Monday Night Club. Uh, it is Steve Crossman who's with us here on Five Lives Premier League Sunday uh, this afternoon. Salah's won the ball for Liverpool. Comes in from the right. Loads of room on the left here for Robertson. Robertson takes a touch. Curling ball to the far post. Perisic has got it covered and volleys it behind for a corner to Liverpool. Well, Perisic was looking like a free kick down there on his left-hand side. Referee won't play on to switch the play. Robertson puts a nice ball in. But this time Tottenham defend it. Yeah, Perisic this time, as, as Chris says, the first goal they conceded right at the start of the first half was a ball from the right to the uh, far post on the left-hand side. Everyone was watching as Curtis Jones volleyed it home. Trent Alexander-Arnold comes across very casually with the ball at his feet, just knocking it forward a couple of feet at a time eventually then picks it up places it down right on the edge of the quadrant right under the nose of the assistant referee takes a couple of long strides back then looks into the penalty area in front of the cop right footed delivery deep to the far post van dyke heads it down romero heads it away for tottenham liverpool leading tottenham by three goals to one if liverpool can win all their remaining premier league games and they could finish on 71 points at the moment Newcastle are on 65 Manchester United on 63 but Liverpool could put the pressure on here's Alisson outside his own box wide to Elliott Elliott closed down by Hoybieg here's Son Son traps the ball Gakpo's back to initially win it gets it off Alexander-Arnold Son tries to drag Gakpo back Gakpo stumbles but he's allowed to continue wide to Salah and then Son does make the tackle and out it goes for a throw into Liverpool on the right. Yeah, Liverpool fans are happy with Son. He did uh, take Gakpo out and he took another game. And yeah, yellow card. Uh, I could see that coming. Son booked for the cynical pullback on Gakpo. Referee Paul Tierney played the advantage and then decided to come back and book Son Hyung Min. Son who had a shot cleared off the line by Virgil van Dijk. Kulishevsky had an effort blocked by Kanate which he probably should have passed to Harry Kane and Tottenham could have scored again so they have had their chances Salah tries to control the throw on his left boot it runs away from him and goes behind for a goal kick to Tottenham it's not really happened the second half yet hasn't it Tottenham are playing very deep got a lot of fair weight shirts behind the ball Liverpool very comfortable in possession but 3-1 up they're not really pressing for that fourth Fraser forced to get him ready to take the goal kick giant of a man yellow shirt untucked baggy yellow shorts clears with his right foot heading towards the left hand side of the field Canate jumps but gets nowhere near it next header won by Perisic Canate awkward touch almost runs to Kuliszewski tried to flick it past Fabinho ran into him and took a blow on the side of the face Gakpo caught by Skip but Paul Tierney says Skip got the ball here Son plays it back to Dyer. yeah it's marvellous isn't it when the play on the play gets up straight away <laughs> Dyer forward to Skip who um who has put in a shift for Tottenham and made some tackles and tried to get them back into the game. Hoybier to Romero. Romero back to Dyer just outside the Tottenham penalty area. Gakpo continues to chase. Pass forward to Son. Son closed down by Canate. And this one is given as a free kick because it's a challenge from behind. Liverpool possibly felt they should have had a free kick for the one before. That's why you got the reaction you got. Yeah, he played the ball, but it was from behind and uh, you know the rules. So Son hits the floor referee blows so but Tottenham just can't get anything going at the minute no. they're trying to 
let the ball do the work as they say but uh, they're not going anywhere it's very easy for Liverpool in terms of making the changes for Tottenham when Ryan Mason wants to do that Chris Waddle and I were both watching Richarlison warming up with the Tottenham subs at half time didn't look massively interested in getting involved in the game that's a wonderful ball to Son edge of the Liverpool box oh he's hit the post right footed shot goes fizzing past Allison's left hand beautifully struck and it comes back off the woodwork and Tottenham win it back again on the right here sensing an opportunity Kudashevsky to Son 25 yards from goal passes through the legs of Luis Diaz to Porro Porro wants to take Jones on on the outside gets the cross in just over Kane it's over Perisic as well Hoyt the egg sprints as fast as he can keeps the ball in wide on the left to Perisic laid off to Kane Kane is deep good ball stretching effort comes off the other post Tottenham in the space of a minute nearly score twice they hit both post Romero with the second effort on the stretching volley and Son with the first one Wait, I'm going to say they didn't have the right to score Son's was a tremendous effort wasn't it got over his feet hit the post comes out Romero he had to really lunge for that he just got his toe to it Liverpool at the other end Elliot's pass finds Salah down by the byline on the right lays it back to Gakpo dummies the shot tries to work it onto his left foot half tackle falls to Elliot Elliot to Salah again will fancy the left footed curler blocked by Perisic oh Hoytbeck's got to be careful there plays it back to Ben Davis Tottenham trying to work it out of a tight spot they've given the ball away Liverpool fans suddenly urging their team forward again they're leading 3-1 here against Tottenham Curtis Jones on the outside of Diaz into the box looking for Robertson in the middle loops up in the air oh Fraser Forster runs into Perisic does really well to hold on to the ball grabs it with one of those giant white nets and uh, we've had chances at either end well I've got to look at Tottenham's chances really I mean they've not been in the game really let's be honest and they've hit the post uh, Romero just it was just too much for him he, he just couldn't get his foot around it and he's told it onto the post but so on it's supposed so Tottenham do look a threat when they do up the tempo and hit oh, yeah, Liverpool on the break definitely enough to keep Tottenham interested in the game I haven't rest as Chris Waddle rightly says I haven't really been in the game but uh, they have had a handful of chances to try and get themselves back in it throwing for them on the left 10 minutes gone in the second half Tottenham subs warming up Richarlison there hands on hips just looking at the action at the moment I'm not I'm not picking on him by the way he wanders off disinterested at the moment then Kane tries to control a ball down by the byline it's cleared by Liverpool but Hoybierg intercepts for Tottenham back it comes to Romero Romero just inside his own half central position quickly plays it out to the right to Porro Porro to Romero back in the Tottenham half Gakpo working ever so hard to close it down Skip plays back to Romero Romero under pressure side foots it to the left bouncing ball is chested down by Perisic Ben Davis have made a run forward there Perisic decides to swing a long diagonal perfectly placed to Porro Porro gets his head up hits one just over the bar from the corner of the save. box and Allison got a touch good save yeah good strike Tottenham have grown in confidence yeah I don't know Liverpool have come off the pace because of the 3 0 up then 3 1 have they they've not come out the blocks quick second half Liverpool Tottenham fans away to our left applaud the efforts in this second half certainly not the first 15 minutes in this game but Tottenham attacking that goal away to our left and they've got a corner it'll be taken by Porro with his right foot curling ball Allison under pressure punches the ball away Son chased by Salah Son's header here falls to Luis Diaz and Salah sprints away from Diaz Liverpool pouring forward in numbers Salah's released at the right time edge of the box back it comes oh he looks for Diaz can't find him intercepted by Skip and Tottenham now might think about a counter Romero over on the left wing Dyer plays it forward but Kane had dropped deep there's no one there in the Liverpool half so Liverpool get the ball back we're going to see some uh, see some chances I think in this second half yeah well Tottenham are as I say playing basically how they did under uh, Conte they're sitting deep trying to catch them on the break and they've hit the post a couple of times and they've had, they've had good chances Tottenham when they yeah. have bro but uh, they haven't done enough it's Chris Waddle with, with us here at Anfield 5 Live BBC Sounds the BBC World Service on 5 Live and BBC Sounds 606 on the way lines open 08085 909 693 is the number to dial to have your say on the football with Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton here's Salah Salah's moving away from the Tottenham goal jogging back towards the halfway line and passes back to Canate Jordan Henderson is getting stripped off and ready to come on for Liverpool Robertson from left back back to Allison. 
Allison on the edge of his penalty area, across to Canate, down the line to Salah, Perisic barges into the back of him, Salah just rides the challenge, plays infield to Alexander-Arnold, looking for Salah on the right, Ben Davis has it covered, back it comes to Forster, Forster the Tottenham keeper, gives it a mighty thump with his left foot, clearance clears the halfway line, Son was coming back from the offside position, had to leave it, Canate controls it and plays back. Yeah, I can see Anderson. Anderson coming on for Fabinho who's um, not covering a lot, lot of ground and Henderson will inject that little bit of pace I think into the way Liverpool are playing. They're not playing as quick as they were first half. Skip, looking for the through ball down the middle, Son's offside. Van Dijk gets back to cover it anyway, but the flag went up immediately that time. As Son tried to control the ball, Liverpool go quickly. Alexander-Arnold, what a lovely ball down the right. Salah working ever so hard to keep it in play, just does that with the back heel. Scurries beyond the byline, crosses in now, Dyer reads it well, intercepts it at the near post. Harvey Elliott controls the ball on the move on the volley, skills from him, really good. Sliding challenge from Hojbjerg. Elliott's gone down hurt, Hoybier got a good bit of the ball there, he might have caught a bit of Harvey Elliott, it's gone out for a throw, assistant referee didn't uh, see anything I wrong with the challenge. He did well to keep it in, Harvey Elliott, but uh, Albert was there, and I thought it was a good challenge, he's pulled him up, the, he's getting up now, just getting the benefit, he didn't really touch him, so I don't say uh, anything wrong with that. Jota's coming on as well, Chris, do you think that'll be for Luis yes, Diaz? Yes, yeah. yeah, 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 so Luis Diaz first start since October, slowly making his way back from a knee injury, has scored today. Schotter, of course, didn't score at West Ham on Wednesday night, but scored two in the 6-1 win against Leeds, two in the 3-2 win against Nottingham Forest. Darwin Nunez, an option, of course, off the bench for Liverpool as well. When all fit, there seriously are some attacking riches. Salah volleys the throw in back towards Luis Diaz. He probably knows his number is going up shortly. Diego Jota sprinting on the spot inside the Liverpool technical area Jordan Henderson just splashing himself with cold water and we've got just over half an hour to play here at Anfield no goals no further goals in the second half Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to one but there have been chances and Saar's coming on for Tottenham yeah Pape Saar who got taken off early on in the game against Newcastle last Sunday it was almost, the, well, it wasn't the scapegoat, was he? Someone had to come off, could have been anyone, and it was Saar who came off. As Elliot looks for the ball over the top towards Gakpo, beyond Gakpo, and safely into the arms of Fraser Forster. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1. So two changes coming for Liverpool, one coming for Tottenham. Eric Dyer receives it from Forster, plays to Romero. Romero casually walks forward with the ball at his feet. Finds Dyer again, Dyer with his head up, looking for an option all the time ahead of him, doesn't see one, so comes across to Romero. Skip, chased by Jones, Romero, back to Skip, Skip looking for Kane, Van Dyke intercepts quite easily. Fabinho, short pass to Robertson on the left, Liverpool have it just inside the Tottenham half. Elliot, Elliot wide to Robertson, back to Fabinho again, Fabinho holds both palms out as if to say give me an option someone Alexander Arnold is there now back to Van Dijk and they're just slowly trying to draw Tottenham up the field Jones to Van Dijk inside his own half curls the ball sweetly onto the feet of Canate Canate to Luis Diaz pops up in a central position Tottenham backing off at the moment in their white shirts defending this goal in front of the cop away to our right and here's Diaz gets it back from Robertson Elliott's there, just outside the area. Gakpo looking for the little flick into Alexander-Arnold's path. Broken up for now, but here's Salah on the right. Cross comes in, Dyer heads it away. Alexander-Arnold chests it down. Flicks it to Salah. Salah knocks it past Perisic. Perisic holding it back just outside the penalty area. For a second there, Salah thought he wasn't going to get the free kick. And he was absolutely incandescent. But it was spotted by the referee, spotted by the assistant referee. Free kick Liverpool. Chris Waddle. Yeah, he just grabs for of his... Uh his arm, his left arm, and the linesman's flag straight up all the way. Uh, and now we go to the substitutions. So Harvey Elliott's coming yeah. off. So he undoes the strapping around his left wrist. Nice applause for him, the 20-year-old. Making a first appearance in six games for Liverpool, coming into the midfield today. He'll be replaced by Jordan Henderson, who joins in the applause for young Elliott as he stomps his way back to the halfway line. So the 20-year-old replaced by the 32-year-old Jordan Henderson in his 12th season at Liverpool. And yes, Luis Diaz is the other man to make way. But 
Tottenham in the meantime have to concentrate on this set piece because this is a tricky one. The ball's level with the edge of their six yard box. So six yards up from the byline, just outside their penalty area on the right. You could see Andy Robertson whipping this in with some real venom and hoping that someone might just get a touch on it. Fraser Forster just touches his left post, his near post, holds both arms in the air. Line of Tottenham defenders four yards from goal. Trailing Liverpool by three goals to one. Pape Sars waiting to come on. Whistle blows. Here is Robertson. A floated one to the far post. Nodded behind by Perisic for a Liverpool corner. I thought Ian Robertson would have really shot there. I thought he would have shot in the near post and made Forster work. Uh, he's just clipped one up to the far post, which was easy for Perisic to head away. Trent Alexander-Arnold again applauded by the Liverpool fans who were either side of that corner flag on the far side of the pitch to us another Liverpool corner coming 18 minutes gone in the second half Jordan Henderson continues to limber up on the edge of the D here leaping in the air a couple of times Van Dijk and Canate waiting to make the runs Porro and Son hoping to cover them Alexander-Arnold with that sweet right foot into the near post Romero heads it away here is Henderson lets the ball drift over his head I think he might just call him on the back there he chases it back he plays it back into his own half Allison is there Robertson under no pressure, Robertson looks up and sees Curtis Jones wide on the left inside the Liverpool half. Caresses the pass down the left-hand touchline to Alexander-Arnold. Glides away from Kuliszewski. Alexander-Arnold lays it off to Van Dijk. Van Dijk rolls it forward to Fabinho. Able to turn all the time in the world. Played wide left to Jones. Jota have made the run. Liverpool don't use him. Back they come again towards the halfway line. Jota wide on the left and Robertson again goes infield to Virgil van Dijk across to Canate Canate sees Salah in space on the right Perisic tries to close it down here's Henderson gets it from Salah nearly lost it couple of tackles on him Alexander-Arnold is there to help challenge from Ben Davis Alexander-Arnold flicks it infield to Gakpo bit of space attacks it on the right Salah steps over the pass Henderson crosses high and deep to the far post Shotters up well but gets underneath the header oh I tell you what it sort of balloons up floats over Forster clips the back side of the crossbar behind for a goal kick yeah it was very easy John Henderson sticks that cross up to the far post with good work down the right hand side shot off me he's got up there well why is he headed down he's at it high and it's drifted basically on the roof of the goal and it's going to be yeah I was just going to say, Chris, I think this tells yeah. you something. Pape Sarr is coming on for Dejan Kuliszewski. Yeah. So ahead of Richarlison. In terms of what I was saying, just about, you know, Richarlison at half-time and didn't look massively interested. In the game, you're 3-1 down. You'd have thought a Brazilian striker would be someone who'd get, who'd get chucked in. Well, he doesn't. For me, I've watched him warm up as well. And when he arrived off the bus and everything, his body language is shocking, isn't it? Let's be honest. So uh, I think Ryan Misson's done the right thing. Uh, Tottenham goal kick headed clear by Canate. Pape Sarr first touch plays the ball back here to Fraser Forster Forster clears with his right foot Alexander Arnold is there for Liverpool in the right back position play back to Allison. Son comes hurtling in to put him under pressure Van Dijk gets it from Allison. wide it goes to Robertson on the left up towards Gakpo no accuracy on the pass Tottenham intercept here's Hoybier Tottenham who struck the post twice in this second half once from Son once from Romero Curtis Jones efforts being applauded there because he closed down Fraser Forster and Forster with a poor clearance with his right foot can seize the throw into Liverpool well, in the I halfway think line. Well I think teams watching now they're running the season I think if you press Tottenham at a high tempo <laughs> Newcastle did it Man United did it for the first half didn't they and uh, Liverpool did it the first half and they don't like it. One win in the last six Premier League games for Tottenham two wins in the last ten games in all competitions including the FA Cup defeat against Sheffield United Champions League exit to AC Milan as well and only Bournemouth Nottingham Forest Leicester and Leeds all down there have conceded more goals away from home than Tottenham that has been the story of the season particularly on their travels 3-1 down here here's Alexander Arnold central position looking for the run of Curtis Jones in from the left Porro's there to clear it for Tottenham falls at the feet of Van Dijk Van Dijk to Canate on the right Henderson comes towards him Henderson back to Canate big French centre back chips it forward easy for Dyer that lets it go and it's through to Forster but if you look at the second half you know Tottenham's 3-1 down alright Son's at the post Mario had a half a chance you could say he was obviously stretched we couldn't say it was a chance good chance apart from that they just sat back and thought you know you're getting beat 3-1 mm. I mean how easy to beat a Liverpool 
the periods in the second half were just strolling the ball around. Yeah, Liverpool fans will see more goals, but they don't need to score. Robertson, attacking run from the left-hand side, loses it, ball might break loose on the edge of the Tottenham box, Henderson speeds in, Robertson's there to receive the pass, Henderson gets it from Jones, thought about an early cross, Salah's lurking wide on the right here, Perisic got to keep an eye on him, but Liverpool have it on the left, now they've lost it, Saar will chase, but Kane will get there first, Kane, followed by Curtis Jones, down Tottenham's right, Robertson back to make the tackle, and the Liverpool duo eventually win the day it finally comes off Kane and goes out for a Liverpool throw oh, where does he go he's running down that right wing he's got no help Son's probably the nearest player was 30 yards away no way to follow him up the field Tottenham fans your thoughts welcome on 6.06 tonight Chris Sutton and Robbie Savage taking the calls after this game through until 8 o'clock 08 085 909 693 plenty of other stuff to talk about as well Liverpool fans as well do you think you can still possibly nick in for a top four spot do you think you're going to have to win all the games to do that Manchester United and Newcastle both winning today so Chris and Robbie will want to hear from you as well here's Fabinho Bournemouth fans as well big win over Leeds Van Dijk to Fabinho White to Robertson on the left looking for the darting run of Jota the pass is beyond Jota Dyer's there first Tottenham might play themselves into trouble Jones wins it just inside the Tottenham area Alexander-Arnold wants it first touch hits the shot blocked by Dyer comes pinging off Dyer and Tottenham feel they should have a free kick for a handball not only that a yellow card for Canate yeah yeah he had a hold of Son as they tried to break there with Harry Kane so the referee got that one right but Tottenham's got to get up the field they need mm. more energy if they're going to get back in the game you know it looks like they're playing basically for damage limitation it's you know they may as well have a goal yeah that, that urgency thing Chris has been there all season as well I mean just yeah. talking about those 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 cup exits to Sheffield United people said the same thing about that performance and the AC Milan performances you know we've, we've seemingly a lot on the line just no oomph or desire no, or intensity it's, it's, or it's just sort of you know part of the bus and yeah if something happens it may but uh, yeah. no. I mean, passive yeah Alexander Arnold to Henderson Liverpool in control leading 3-1 Henderson's cross in Romero chests it down the ball thuds off his chest to skip skip with his left foot across to Porro Saar starts to make a run Porro goes long down the middle of the field Canate heads it away Henderson this time chests it to Fabinho there's Jota the best first touch from him and then fouls Porro as he tried to win the ball back free kick for Tottenham 20 minutes to play still Liverpool 3 Tottenham 1 all the Reaction, debate, analysis as always in the Football Daily podcast. There for you on the BBC Sounds app later tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Just subscribe to the Football Daily via the BBC Sounds app and it will be there in your inbox uh, every day of the week. Here's Pape Saar. Saar back to Dyer. So are we going to see a bit of intensity and urgency from Tottenham in the last 20 minutes here? Ben Davis just throws it forward. Kane will give chase, but I mean, that, nothing you can do with that. Allison comes out to the edge of the area. Fabinho gets it. Shadow man on from the Liverpool fans. Not the best pass from him back to Andy Robertson. Robertson headed it forward, took it down the left. He's tackled. Throw in for Liverpool. It's been a scrappy second half, hasn't it, really? Let's be honest. Liverpool had the game won at half time. Uh, Tottenham responded just before half time with that goal, which obviously then had a couple of half chances after that. But and they've had a couple of this half. But uh, Liverpool are totally in control of the mm. game. They're dictating the pace. Uh, yeah, they may be scoring goals and the fans want to see goals, but hey, they get like three points. Leading 3-1, Chris Waddle with us here at Anfield. Allison inside his own area, across to Van Dyke. Van Dyke with a little trick and then slips as he clears, but the pass finds Gakpo. Gakpo's clever little cushion back heel into the path of Henderson. Henderson, central position on the halfway line. Low pass across to Robertson. Robertson wide to Jones. Liverpool wants another here. Jones finds Robertson as he continues his run back to Jones again on the left into the feet of Alexander-Arnold Liverpool fans wanting to shoot plays it across to Henderson now Salah Salah in the box on that angle where he can sometimes curl that left footer into the far post it goes Romero backpedals and wins the header can't head it far though Jones is there finds Robertson Robertson to Fabinho Fabinho across to Van Dijk this is very deep in Tottenham territory Van Dijk shoots from range slices it badly and it goes behind for the goal kick Darwin Nunez is getting ready to come on for Liverpool who lead by three goals to one let's see whose number goes up here Cody Gakpo coming off Chris yeah he's done okay Gakpo in that position now I think which he prefers when he came and played him on the right the left they tried to fit him into the side and he's ended up doing a sort of a 
Firmino role, doesn't he? Coming off the centre half, trying to link the play. He seems to be grown into that position, but uh, this is a different now I am player coming on. Yeah. Darwin Nunez comes on. Can't get a start for Liverpool at the moment. Number 27. Roar to the rooftops as he enters the field of play. Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to one and 6.06 on the way here on Five Live and BBC Sounds. And a play goes for a Tottenham throw uh, on the left. Post-match reaction will come live from the tunnel here at Anfield into 6.06 uh, tonight. Perisic spins the ball in his right hand. Eric Dyer goes rumbling forward, calls for it, gets it, chests it down. Overhits the pass, but Canate heads it away. Nunez with the hair tied back in the ponytail gets it first. Touch. Completely miscues a left-footed volley pass attempted forward. Comes off his right shin and actually goes to a, a teammate. So it's a lucky start. Now he's on his bike here. Robertson trying to find him down the left. Chases hard, but the pass is overhit and it's into the arms of Forster. Forster rolls it out to Romero. Romero to skip. Skip with the high pass to the left. Perisic heads it down. Kane tries to return it on the half volley. High bouncing ball. Perisic crosses in towards Son. Van Dijk stoops, heads it away. Alexander Arnold tries a bit too much with that pass. The Tottenham have won it here. Stretching pass from Perisic back to Saar. Space for Porro on the right. Players in the penalty area to aim at. He's overhit that cross badly. And off target as well. It goes straight behind for a goal well, kick. He's never settled into Tottenham has he, since he arrived. Um, cost a lot of money um, you know well he's playing wing back right back it just never happened for him in a Tottenham shirt has it so far he keeps working he keeps trying you can say that but he's not having much joy yeah as John Murray would say Chris and I'm never great at the John Murray impressions for Porra that was poor <laughs> <laughs> here's Van Dyke, head to the penalty area plays across to Allison. Allison to Canate Canate up towards Salah, just short of the halfway line, lays it off to Henderson, tried to get it back to Salah, couldn't find him, Dyer to skip for Tottenham, oh that's good from Nunez, runs in, nicks it off skip, still Nunez, Nunez tries to thread the ball through to Salah on the right, pass is intercepted, again Nunez chasing hard to try and win it off skip, nearly did so, Dyer's on the ball inside his own box, closed down by two Liverpool attackers, floats it forward to Kane, beaten in the air easily by Van Dijk, who was always the favourite to win the header. Jones just prompting a little run from Jota down the left-hand side. 15 minutes to play. Liverpool leading Tottenham 3-1. Fabinho, side-footed ball to Jota on the left. And Jota, very sedate pace back to Fabinho. Fabinho to Van Dijk. Here's Jota again. Midway inside the Tottenham half on the left. 1-2 with Fabinho. And back to Van Dijk we go. And Van Dijk goes like to Alisson. Like, it's like a training ground game. You know, when you, you, you're playing against the reserves or the, 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 the juniors and you think, right, this is how we're going to play. Um, uh, Tottenham have offered nothing, yeah. really, in the game. I know they've had two or three good chances, which you'll get. But in general play, they've been, what? They've never left the no. 20 yards from the goal. They've never, the back threes, they've never got half the half wheeling. Tottenham win a throw. Porro's clearance blocked by Andy Robertson. Throwing in their right back position. 14 minutes to play. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 1. Tonight on 6.06, you're reacting to Bournemouth 4, Leeds 1 in terms of the Premier League results. Manchester City going top of the Premier League. Point ahead of Arsenal with a game in hand, having won 2-1 at Fulham. Manchester United beating Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Newcastle beating Southampton 3-1. Salah looking for Jota on the edge of the box. Tottenham clear just in time. Son starts to make a run. Can Perisic find him? Perisic ducks inside Alexander-Arnold. Space on the right for Tottenham. Ball floated over the top. Brilliantly taken down by Son. Who scores? Now it's 3-2. Just under 15 minutes to play. Son leaps in the air to celebrate with the Tottenham fans. And now we've got a finish on our hands. Tottenham haven't been in this game this afternoon. They've not played particularly well. But now they're just a goal behind. Liverpool 3. Tottenham 2. Well, I've got to say, the back four Liverpool, very lazy. When it's time on the ball, you've got to drop off. They don't. They've held the lane. Son's bent his run, great run, great first touch, and the second touch is even better. Brilliant goal by Son. Just having a little look at the uh, replays on the monitor, yeah, no problem with offside. So here we go, set for the old grandstand finish. 
Liverpool 3 0 up after 15 minutes, now find themselves only 3 2 ahead. Bring in uh, Richardson on now. Oh, here we go. Yep. Richardson with the peroxide hair and stomping into the tunnel. Last man off the Tottenham bus. I think we knew he wasn't starting as soon as we saw him, but has a chance to make a name for himself, possibly yet to score for Tottenham in the Premier League. We keep reeling that stat out, but he's going to get a go. And Lucas Moura's going on. Lucas Moura coming on as well. So two for Brazilians. Liverpool leading by three goals to two. Charles who did score in an Everton win here, February 2021. Son's away again, chasing this ball downfield. Allison's there. Thumps it away with his right foot. Hoybier just inside his own half, heads it straight up in the air. Kane jumps with Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold doesn't know where the head has gone. Fabinho wins the next one. Oh, nice touch from Oliver Skip. Support from Perisic on the outside. Canate with the sliding challenge. Runs to Perisic down to the byline. Cross into the far post. Good tracking back from Curtis Jones to win the header. Skip wins another header. Tottenham still coming here. Suddenly they believe. Space on the right for Porro. Romero bombing forward in the inside right channel. Cross comes in. Oh, just over Hoybiag. Did he get a shove? Could be. No. Referee says goal kick for the time being. Well, I'll we'll check that. I've got to. But Hoy... I mean, it does go down a bit dramatic, doesn't it? But <laughs> I've got to say, I mean, uh, Tottenham's come to life. Hoybierg leapt for the header, Alexander-Arnold was behind him, Hoybierg flat on his back, claims he got a push. Now I'm not sure he was going to get a clean header on the ball, VAR will have a look. At the moment Allison is getting set for the goal kick, and Chris as you say, it was definitely an exaggerated dramatic fall. Let's have another look here. There's going to be enough in that, is there? No, I don't no. think you get it, no. So Richarlison waits to come on. 11 minutes to play, didn't see this coming, I tell you, Liverpool 3, Tottenham 2, as it stands, Liverpool with the win will be on 56 points, 7 points behind Manchester United, 9 behind Newcastle, Alexander-Arnold heads it forward, Dyer with a header up towards Hoybierg, Hoybierg looking for the run of Perisic, Alexander-Arnold's got it covered, side foot's a pass back to Alisson, it's got nervy, well, it's got nervy. You know what, I you watch Liverpool and when they're at it, they're a hard team to play against. You can see why they score goals and win matches. But when they come off the pace, well, it's very dangerous. Oh, uh, high foot dangerous. from Jota. I don't think he meant it. No. But, but it is dangerous. But when they come off the pace of Liverpool, they become very ordinary. Mm. You know, Liverpool's at their best when they're pressing, getting the ball back, playing one and two touch football, a lot of movement, uh, high tempo. When they come off it and try and, they've tried basically to manage the game here and, and get the result. And it's, it, it, I must say it's cost them yet, but it could. Oliver Skip has taken a boot to the face from Diogo Jota. Not intentional. Skip went with his head, bent down in to win the header. Jota went with his boot and has caught him in the face. So Skip is down receiving treatment. So 10 minutes, plus added time remaining. Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to two. And Jurgen Klopp deep in conversation with Fabinho, his central midfielder just to try and make sure there's there's not any more mishaps because they have gifted Tottenham some chances this afternoon and there's the yellow card for Diogo Jota uh, for the high foot in the challenge Skip is still flat on his back yeah caught him right on the uh, on the side of the head Richarlison still waiting to come on is it going to be a who else is coming on there for... Oh no, that's Perisic who's just come off to uh, to have a drink and coming back onto the field for Tottenham. And 6.06 on the way. 08, 08, 5, 9, 0, 9, 6, 9, 3. Huddersfield 2-1 winners away at Cardiff in the Championship this afternoon. So they're now on 47 points. Rotherham on 46 and Reading uh, in the bottom three on 44. Rotherham at home to Middlesbrough tomorrow in a one o'clock kickoff. Could go to the final day of the season and that would see Huddersfield at home to Reading, Celtic through to the Scottish Cup final, having beaten Rangers 1-0. So if you want to have your say on that in 6.06, 08, 08 909 693 is the number to dial. Celtic will play Inverness, Caledonian Thistle in the final. And Manchester City's women beat Reading 4-1 in the WSL. Manchester City three points behind Manchester United. Chelsea are seven points behind the leaders, but they do have three games in hand. So... Lengthy stoppage here. If Tot honestly, Chris, if, if Tottenham come away from here with with a point, that is going to be uh, uh, it was a, a, a miracle. It's going to be Liverpool's. Yeah, it's their it's their fault. They they were dominating the game, playing high tempo. Tottenham couldn't get out, and then the last 15, 20 minutes, they've just started letting Tottenham get the good possession. They've lost the tempo. Liverpool 
uh, and they'll hold that high lane and if you hold the high lane you're asking for risk so skip still receiving treatment richarlison still waiting to come on now perisic is deep in conversation with jürgen klopp maybe asking him what the liverpool plan is for the last 10 minutes or so in the game so everyone seems relatively relaxed down there skip still recovering and waiting to get back to his feet and robbie sutton and Oh, Robbie Sutton, what am I doing today? Mike Chapman, Robbie Sutton, Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton waiting to take the calls on 6.06 this evening. Liverpool leading by three goals to one. 3-0 three up after 15 minutes. Real feeling of deja vu for those Tottenham fans. But Harry Kane's goal got them back in it. Now 3-2 with the Son goal. Skip finally back on his feet and is holding some sort of dressing to the left-hand side of his head and he's coming off the field here with the uh, two Tottenham medical staff Perisic continues to stretch out the hamstrings and we're waiting to see who's going to be replaced by Richarlison at the end of this game as well so here comes the board Richarlison's number goes up and it skips coming off yeah he's going straight down the tunnel as well yeah Richarlison the former Everton man receiving a fairly predictable welcome here at Anfield let's see what he's got in the locker then for the last 10 minutes of the game first thing he's going to do is wrestle with Alexander Arnold Alexander Arnold is there on the edge of the Liverpool box and he wins the first duel and clears the bouncing ball with his right foot Liverpool 3 Tottenham 2 6 minutes plus added time remaining but uh, after that stoppage there there's clearly going to be a fair bit of that as well and the uh, experienced head of James Milner yeah coming on shortly for Liverpool uh, Henderson plays forward with his right foot Dyer heads it away nice touch from Hoybier Fabinho tries to make the tackle no contact on the ball Son's lost it might come to Kane Kane didn't even need to look there wonderful pass with his left foot finds Porro Richarlison makes the run in the middle Canate behind him Richarlison goes down and immediately pulls in he tells the Brazilian to get to his foot Richarlison then tugs his own shirt as if to say that's what was going on referee has stopped the game for the time being it's going to be a Liverpool throw but I think he's stopped to have a word with Harry well, Kane I tell you what I watched the replay just in front of the yellow which he's, he's got a hold of him look yeah look, he's got a hold of him I know he's went down as he does but he's got his I'm arm across him hasn't he looked, uh, I'm yeah. not surprised he's not looked at that he's got his arm across him he's not grabbed a handful of shirt Richarlison as Chris Waddle says has exaggerated the fall to show what was going on Milner coming on for Curtis Jones Liverpool waiting to take the throw he's still real jeopardy in the game Liverpool leading Tottenham by three goals to two 08 085 909 693 the number to dial to have your say on 606 this evening so Milner on Jones off the score of the first goal in only the third minute of the game Liverpool 3-0 up after 15 minutes but now not, not necessarily hanging on but it's uh, got a little bit tighter than they thought it might Darwin Nunez flicks it on to Salah was Salah fouled by Dyer? no throw in for Tottenham Liverpool fans don't like it Hoybieg receives it tackled by Henderson Jota stretches tackled by Kane throw in for Liverpool on the right well, Tottenham showing a lot of urgency the last 10 minutes maybe they, they think they can get something out of this game you wouldn't say that's a great performance by Tottenham today if they do get a result out of it it's unbelievable Liverpool have just threw the game away point doesn't really suit either of them no. if we're talking about race for top four Newcastle and Manchester United would absolutely love it if this game ends in a draw another throw in for Liverpool right under the nose of Jurgen Klopp Alexander-Arnold gets ready to take it goes long down the right hand side looking for Nunez headed away by Ben Davis Perisic nods it back Dyer clears on the half volley Canate nods it down Alexander-Arnold flips it forward Perisic heads it away again chases his own header Milner plays back to Alisson Perisic continues the sprint Alisson quickly out to Robertson on the left Robertson looking for the floated ball over the top Nunez leaps Romero wins the first header and the pass from Milner to Nunez he's lost it on the left all oh, Poros attempting a back heel inside his own box gets away with it then knocks one infield to Saar that's better from Tottenham find Harry Kane deep in his own half Kane curls the pass out to Richarlison boos for the pantomime villain looks for the one two with Saar Richarlison finds Saar Poros in space on the right hand side 
Red shirts of Liverpool backing off at the moment. They lead Tottenham by three goals to two. Lucas Moore is waiting to come on. And Dan Juma is waiting to come on as well. Could be just too little, too late for Tottenham. Ben Davis. Davis back to Perisic. 88th minute of the game. Davis caught by Salah. Foul. Free kick for Tottenham. Long way out. Wide on the left. But a chance to get some delivery into the penalty area. It just shows you Liverpool, is not it? Why, why are they probably not challenged for the league or top four this year? Because they can't keep that tempo up. We'll, we've been used to seeing them over the years. You know, energy levels unbelievable and quality on the ball. But again, I've watched them again today and for 45 minutes they did it. Second half, they haven't. Tottenham have shot themselves in the foot again today, conceding three in the first 15 minutes. They've not played particularly well and here we are in the 89th minute of the game. Free kick comes into the box, 3-2 down. That's a Liverpool head on the ball. Up in the air it goes. Richarlison just gets in the way of Alisson. Alisson punches it clear. Hoybierg is there to receive the clearance, plays it to Saar. Saar across to Porro. Alexander-Arnold chases, gets half a block on the ball. Half volleyed away by Milner. Salah sprints into the Tottenham half, Forster's got to be careful, did really well, chested it down, plays it out to Hoybierg, Hoybierg under pressure from Jota, back to Forster, Forster that's not his favoured foot, the left, gets underneath the clearance, Canate does really well to win the header, Jota flicks it on, Salah was in an offside position, doesn't chase it, and back it comes to Forster, heading towards the 90th minute, Liverpool 3, Tottenham 2, Fraser Forster, Clears with his right foot up towards Richarlison. Wants the physical battle with Canate. Feels the contact and lays it off to Perisic. Down the line to Richarlison it goes. Richarlison, clever ball. Finds Perisic again. Oh, takes on Fabinho. Poor touch. Knocks it behind straight for a goal kick. Good play him and Richarlison licking up where he's going with his left, left hand side. He's got to put it in first team. As he runs onto it, he's took that touch and he didn't need to. So Lucas Moore is coming on. 90th minute of the game. Just scanning the pitch to see who's coming off. Is it Perisic? Perisic is, Perisic is one of them. Dan Schumer's coming on. Porro, two full-backs off for Tottenham. Last throw of the dice from Ryan Mason. They scrambled their way back on Thursday night against Manchester United to get the 2-2 draw. 3-2 down here. Can they find a dramatic late equaliser? Allison with the goal kick out to the left Nunez heads it in field Son thought he had it for Tottenham Milner takes it off him Jota plays it back to Robertson here's Van Dijk board is up six minutes of added time before we head to uh, Chris and Robbie for 6.06 Ben Davis down holding his face Mo Salah challenged him and won the ball three kicks given to Tottenham Liverpool fans don't like it no even Jurgen Klopp was on his knees and he had his face on Jastrup to couldn't believe it, but uh, uh, listen, some you get, some you don't. Ben Davis goes down, referees bought it, and uh, it's a chance now by Tottenham for Forster to launch another one up the field. Yeah, not much in that at all. Jurgen Klopp giving it the old Louis van Hall down uh, in the technical area. It was Kane caught by Milner. Milner gets booked, free kick for Tottenham. Midway inside the Liverpool half in the inside left channel. Getting very tense and tetchy here at Anfield. As you can probably hear, Ben Davis goes trotting forward for the attacking set piece. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 2. Poitier just takes the ball a couple of yards back. Son's come back to have a word. It's going to be Son who's going to take it. Son places it carefully on the turf. Fourth official John Brooks wants even Perisic sat down inside the Tottenham dugout. Perisic is on his feet and being sucked into the drama away to his left Tottenham free kick no referee's not quite ready Paul Tierney wants to have a word with a couple of players head to the penalty area Jordan Henderson's one of them Ben Davis is another Son again picks the ball up just brushes the Anfield turf carefully puts it down picks it up again cleans the top of both boots on the back of each sock and then Ben Davis ah now referee spotted something with Ben Davis having taken a whack in the face that he does want tended to so Tottenham are now down to 10 Ben Davis having to change his shirt Tottenham down to 10 men but Paul Tierney wants them to get on with the game they trail Liverpool 3-2 here comes the free kick from Song good delivery Richarlison bouncing header he scored Richarlison has scored his first Premier League goal for Tottenham at Anfield the former Everton man can't contain his emotions rips off his shirt leaps over the hoardings his teammates are all over him Tottenham were 3-0 down after 50 
15 minutes at Anfield and playing awfully and somehow they've got it back to 3-3 and would you believe it, it's Richarlison with the equaliser. I can't believe what we've seen today. I mean, it's a great ball in by Son. What a wonderful free kick, delivery fantastic. Richarlison heads it into the ground. He doesn't head it on the goal, he heads it into the ground and bounces over Allison. I just thought was he offside when he first took it. I, I mean, I, I'm sure they'll still be checking. But he's got a yellow card for yeah. taking his shirt off. I don't know why players do that. Uh, but, hey, wow, what a uh, game this has been. Well, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look whether there's an offside in there. The, the delivery from Son was absolutely brilliant. If there's not, Richarlison has timed the run beautifully. Nunez tried to get a touch on the ball as well. And it's, it's fortuitous in a way because the ball's gone straight down into the turf and it's just had the perfect parabola to loop itself over Allison, who's desperately thrown himself back to try and save it. Liverpool 3, Tottenham 3. Definitely something for the Tottenham and Liverpool fans to talk about on 606 tonight. 08085 909 693. And whether they played well or not, Ryan Mason certainly has infused them with a bit of sort of courage and spirit. They've given the ball away. Jota inside the penalty area. Diogo Jota in front of the cop breaks Tottenham hearts. They thought they had a point. Liverpool have gone straight back down the other end. What a finish that is with his left foot. Tottenham have given him the chance and he's taken it beautifully. Liverpool four, Tottenham three. What a game. What an end of a game this has been. Tottenham really had no... He shouldn't have been in the game, let's be honest. Look at about the 3-3. Three, three. They get excited. Lucas Moura rolls the ball back to Romero. He's overhit it. They could take nothing away from Shot up. Great first touch and the second touch across the goal. What a finish that was. Well, you only have to listen to the noise inside Anfield. I think there's a lot of relief in there as well. 3-0 up in 15 minutes. They've given it away. Diogo Jota in fine goal scoring form that was not an easy finish left footed drive from a tight angle the Tottenham mistake that gave him the chance but the technique is fabulous and it looks like Liverpool are going to get their three points referee Paul Tinney before the game gets back underway wants to come and have a word with Jurgen Klopp so something's gone on on the touchline in the celebrations Paul Tinney's reaching for his pocket here Liverpool fans are booing Jurgen Klopp gets booked and then turns and roars to the Liverpool fans and they roar right back at their manager Liverpool 4 Tottenham 3 lines open for 6.06 what a game you've got to discuss with Chris and Robbie tonight 08085 909 693 on the day that Manchester City have gone top of the Premier League table with their 2-1 win at Fulham Lucas Moore has lost it to Darwin Nunez he's getting involved in riling the crowd up as well 30 seconds of added time to play I think there'll be a little bit more than that but it looks like Diogo Jota has won the game for Liverpool and what's Tottenham Amazing. thinking now well Lucas Moore has slightly passed through him here it's a great finish on Jota but what is that what is he thinking Mora's ball down the right to Son. Oh, now that was a wild challenge from Nunez. Well, it's not been given as a foul. Son, I thought, was fouled there. The ball's come off him and gone out for a Liverpool throw. And that might be it for Tottenham. I mean, at the end of it, the way Tottenham have played, they didn't really deserve anything out of the game, but they got themselves in a position where they were leaving with a point. But looking at the result, I think it was a very, very close game. But once Liverpool came off the pace, being 3 0 up, it allowed Tottenham to create a few chances. Here they go again. Tottenham, maybe a last chance. Hoybier to Son, not enough on the pass from Hoybier. There was a chance to play Son in there on the right hand side. And he couldn't do it. Richarlison's goal, his first Premier League goal. Tottenham thought it might be enough for a point. But it looks like Diogo Jota's goal is going to win the game. Eric Dyer clears. Ball is with Mo Salah. Mo Salah inside the Tottenham half, good skills, gets away from Ben Davis. are they going to get a fifth, Salah finds Henderson wide on the right, this is where Liverpool want the ball, and Henderson's going to take the ball, down to the corner flag, he wins them a throw, it's all over, full time whistle blows at Anfield, what a ridiculous game of football, Liverpool 3-0 up in 15 minutes, Tottenham defence on a Sunday afternoon again, nowhere to be seen Curtis Jones, Luis Diaz and the Mo Salah penalty had them 3-0 in front Harry Kane then gets a goal back 
to make it 3-1. Liverpool defence at fault for Son's goal in the 77th minute. But then the drama in added time. Richarlison with the equaliser. His first Premier League goal for Tottenham, the former Everton man. And Diogo Jota goes and wins it. Chris Waddle. Yeah, well, I've got to say, Liverpool came out of the blocks quickly, quick expected. Went 3-0 up, you thought. Another poor performance by Tottenham. They've hung in there. they played on the counter-attack Tottenham. I think Liverpool... If they don't play high tempo, they are very... You can get at them and you can score time and you'll get chances because there's no pressure on the ball and they still play a high lane. But, I mean, Jota's goal was a fantastic finish. to kind of tell you anyway, but Liverpool were the best team. Tottenham showed a lot of character second half. But they've got to be coming out of game, starting games a lot quicker, Tottenham. You can't, you can't wait to see what's going to happen. You've got to make things happen. And it's cost them at the end. Think about the late goals that Toronto conceded recently in the 3-3 draw at Southampton, which basically made Antonio Conte flip his lid. The one-all draw uh, at Everton, the 3-2 defeat at home to Bournemouth. They thought they had snatched a point here. But Diogo Jota's late, late goal has won it for Liverpool. They continue to chase that spot in the top four. They have matched the wins of Manchester United and Newcastle. And that is how it finishes at Anfield. Liverpool four, Tottenham three. Two teams who can score loads of goals, but neither can defend. Steve